Welcome back to Prey. We're inside of Lab 1 right now, trying to get inside of the guts, literally. And before I continue exploring Lab 1, one thing I want to do is I, I mentioned before that I thought the mimic detection thing that I got is kind of cheap, and I like the suspense of not knowing exactly what's a mimic, unless you're really, really careful. And I realized, well, why don't I just uninstall the chipset? So I'm going to do it. So now I can still use this thing to zoom in and scan things and stuff like that and tag enemies, but we won't find mimics anymore. Because I was thinking I could just stop using it to avoid finding the mimics, but then I'm like, oh wait, I'm going to miss all those other features too. But then I remembered you can just uninstall it. We got a phantom outside there. Well, I'm just going to leave it there for now, see what's through here. Oh wait, that just loops around, doesn't it? Okay, we gotta take out the Mimic, I think. Assuming it's going to come out here. Maybe not. Whoa. Hello. Shit. It must have hurt me or something. Oh, that thing's going to explode. Ooh. Oh, I thought you were dead. Oh. Yeah, I thought I was dead for some reason. Okay. Yeah, so before I explored this room, I came from here. Damn it, my defenses were too strong. Unlock that. Okay. So I came from here, right? Hello, Doctor Haven't been to this room, right? Medical bay. Oh wait, no I did. Yeah, I remember there was a crouched phantom in the corner. Okay, so that whole area is explored. Alright, I came from down there. Let's see how close that thing is. I don't feel comfortable ungrouching when it sounds so near. Oh, another airlock. Hello, Doctor Yu. Okay, seems pretty far away. Hello, good to see you again, Doctor Yu. Oh, yeah, it's down. Down there. All right, we're good. Wait, did I just go in a circle? I did. Five unlocked. Don't think I have any reason to go out there yet. Although maybe I should just to see if there's any bodies. All oh, right, but it's a load zone. How horrible! I'll have to wait like 15 seconds for it to load.
Oh. Just came out of B. All right. Check out the slab. Ooh. It looks like the dream weaver stuff, the coral. Typhon Mimesis Part 1. Using Mossbauer spectroscopy, we track hyperfine splitting of an isotope embedded in the target object. In this case, a standard Transtar coffee mug. The creatures seem to have a weird affinity for them. If the mimic actually altered its atomic structure to duplicate the target object, then we would expect the reading to be consistent in the duplicated object. When the alteration occurred, the reading was present, but the frequency had changed. The new object was on a different time scale than the original. So this must be related to the whole, they're not actually literally duplicating the object, but like swapping it in a different dimension or something. Oh. Hypotheses. Hallucinogenic field, transmutation, or pocket dimension. Well, it seems like they've settled on the pocket dimension, apparently. Creepy noise. <laughs> Little bastard. Whoa. I hear them. I hear... Oh, shit. one come from? That's not the one from down there. I didn't think there was any up here. What the? Yeah, look at how many things I could- oh wait, those aren't things I can pick up, those are notes. There's a million notes on everything. I think all the notes said, not a mimic. <laughs> no way of control. Introduce no way transmitter to test chamber to suppress mimic abilities. Okay. Um. It didn't work. It's still right there. Suppress mimics abilities. It didn't suppress it. I'm guessing those are all mimics. Did it deploy? Oh, unavailable. Guess there's just the one. Oh, looks like they're betting on what's the actual explanation for the mimics. My money's on number two. After the last six months here, I'm going with number four. Magic. Dome Taker 3, Pilgrimage to the Ark 
Autarchy of the Domed arrived with my last drop. Let me know if you'd like a download. The caves are all handcrafted. Does Linzetta ring any bells? Dr. Gus Linzetta? I wonder if I told you he worked with us for a week. One week. The week before the entire science staff had last quarter's neuromods removed. He left his badge in a locker. I had IT look up his account, and it had all been deleted. All but his credentials. Who the hell was he? Had all their neuromods removed? Yeah, and with removing neuromods, resetting your memory, it's no wonder people like... What was it, Calvino? It's no wonder Calvino and others were just... Just a mess and they couldn't remember things properly. You actually can take those. Are they just like a little bit of natural matter? Where'd it go? Oh, it didn't actually go up under like notes, did it? Ah, I don't know. Rory, I've loaded another nightlight as requested. Up to the psycholuminescence. This time the Typhon ought to follow the lore like an imprinted duckling. Lore is beautiful. Four neuromods. That is enough for ne uh, necropsy. Yeah. Give me more exotic material. Oh yeah, it even sp specifically says it can be used in the fabrication of neuromods. So after that, I'm getting the one that increases gun damage. I gotta start using these lures or something, right? Pretty much just all of these grenades. Eight EMP charges, five Typhon lures, three no wave transmitter, three recycler charges. Got a lot of grenades. I probably shouldn't take all these notes off of these things if I want to know what's a mimic and what's not. Hmm, part three. Something something it may explain how mimics arrived here and how at least one survived in the vacuum inside the Kletka for so long. They can move to an adjacent dimensional bubble where time passes much more slowly. 
shifting back with the appropriate stimulus, like prey. From the Mimic's perspective, a six million year journey to our solar system, in the form of an iron meteor, might only take a few seconds. These things are the ultimate trapdoor spiders. Hmm. So perhaps they do need oxygen, and they were only able to survive in space because they had access to this other dimension? Not that I would count on them needing oxygen. It's not like everything needs oxygen. Stats report 37. Blah 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 has shown signs of further instability in the last 24 hours. Subject demonstrated morbid curiosity in small objects around him, attempting to place them in his mouth and consume them. Nutritive and non-nutritive. Initial diagnosis would seem to be rapid onset pica but there was no evidence of this prior to exposure to the telepath. We're not ruling out suicide attempts, although the subject isn't making an effort to hide it. I'll be performing an endoscopic exam next shift to make sure nothing is lodged in the esophagus, esophagus or intestines. Suicide watch update. Still under suicide watch, as requested the prisoner hasn't been given Hasn't been given only sedatives to keep his system clean. Wait. Hasn't been given... Oh, any. Not only. Hasn't been given any sedatives to keep his system clean for upcoming surgery. No food either. Only water. He doesn't do much except rock back and forth. Staring at the same point on the wall and mumbling to himself in Russian. Can't make out what he's saying. He's made no attempt to hurt himself that we've seen. This volunteer doesn't seem to be suicidal. He seems disoriented. Like he's sleep drunk. I think we've gotten just about all we're going to get out of 37 by talking. I want you to schedule surgery within the next few days. Let's get it out and into analysis as soon as possible. Encephalectomy, I don't know what that means, but um, I'm guessing 37 was not alive afterwards. the Typhon are capable of, Hello. and not capable of, it seems prudent to revisit the Project Cobalt material. Igor, neuromods can already adapt Typhon material to the human mind. There's no reason in principle the reverse wouldn't work. So you managed to insert human no neurons into a Typhon. How will you know it was help. successful? You should feel more the new neural structures would need to mature over a series of actual experiences. Or simulated ones. What? Simulate the experiences. Calvino, he has... Right, okay, look, it's fascinating, but let's focus on what we know is working. I don't want anyone devoting resources to this. I feel like that was really important and I kind of missed half of it trying to talk to that thing. In light of what we now know the Typhon are capable of, and not capable of, it seems prudent to revisit the Project Cobalt material. Igor, neuromods can already adapt Typhon material to the human mind. There's no reason in principle the reverse wouldn't work. Say you managed to insert human neurons into a Typhon. How will you know it was successful? The new neural structures would need to mature over a series of actual experiences. Or simulated ones. What? Simulate the experiences. Calvino, he has... Right, okay, look... It's fascinating, but let's focus on what we know is working. I don't want anyone devoting resources to this. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad I listened to that again. That's... big. That's probably the most important audio log I've found so far. Um, so they're suggesting the possibility of not just putting neuromods that have Typhon material and, and Typhon-like abilities into humans, but putting human things into Typhons. And having them go through experiences to, like, what, reinforce it? That kind of makes me think maybe I'm a Typhon? 
Am I like a... A Morgan U Typhon that's been implanted with Morgan DNA? That better not be the twist, because if so, then it was incredibly easy to find out just from that one audio log. Why is it all exploding? Hello, Dr. Okay, um, let's look Hello. at the lab proper. So I went through there, yeah, I went everywhere around the lab, but not to the lab itself. Every single note just says not a mimic, so no reason to read them. Take the mimic tumors. I hear a noise. That was weird. Please don't explode and shoot me with electricity. That one was fast. Where's that go? Somewhere I've been? <laughs> oh, they make it so you can't get through all of it. I suppose I can- oh, I'm just scratch out of there. Nice. Oh yeah, I've already been here. Alright, so where am I going? Like, where do I need to go? Oop. Can't tell where up here, can it? Because if you can't, then how about I just snipe you? Right, there's the airlock. So is that where I have to go? Probably is. I think I've been everywhere else. Yeah, let's go with the airlock. Microgravity detected. Morgan, I've been wondering if it might be bothering you that you planned your own death. It's a lot to swallow. My advice would be try not to think about the end. Focus on what's in front of you, one step at a time. I'm here, if you need help. That would be a weaver. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have... zero G combat. Given all the things I've seen out there. to orient myself. 
There's a corpse up there. Hmm. Guess I'll go to the corpse. Oh. Oh. Whew. That's on, like, the other side. Ah, oh, look at the sun. Beautiful. Should go this way. Oh. <laughs> Can I sneak and crouch here? No. Okay. So they are susceptible to null wave transmitters, but I don't think that kills them or hurts them. I think it just disables them. Psi nullifying pulse. Yeah, I'll disable them or at least disable a lot of their abilities. And then after that, I guess I'll just probably just shoot them with a the shotgun. Oh man. There's those weird flamey things up there. Alright, let's do this. I should probably save. Probably save because I'm probably gonna die. Oh, Christ. Oh, not responding. I can't even move. Okay, Christ. Ooh. Let's heal. Where is it? Radiation? How did I get radiation? Christ. I'm not even sure that was a weaver. I think it was. I guess it's the only thing it could have been. Man, that hurt. I don't know where the hell the body even went. Yeah, light doesn't do much. I really want to loot the body, but it's... I don't know. I don't know where it went. <sighs> okay. Right, where was that body? Seal hole breach. Hey, what's that? Let me save it and go look. It could be loose wires, or it could be a weaver or something. Oh, just loose wires. Okay. Oh, is that... I think the body's down there. Um, I hope these wires don't shock me. Whoa! Q-beam! It's a new weapon! Hello. Fires a concentrated beam of unstable particles that will eventually cause a target to explode. Whew. That sounds beautiful. So, like a laser gun, basically? I mean, it says unstable particles as opposed to a laser, so I guess it's probably different, but it sounds like it functions pretty much like one. Looks like I've got 2.22 extra charges left, or whatever that means. Oh yeah, that's a laser gun. God, space is so confusing. I'm gonna go back up. Wait, down, up, where did I, where did I, go? Oh, I did come from here. <laughs> okay, things make more sense now. I still don't know where I want to go, though. Let me figure that out. So, what are our quests? We still need to get into the guts, yes. I'm still not sure how to do that. What's this? 
Jose Costa was tasked with sealing a minor hole breach in order to restore atmosphere to exotic material storage areas within Psychotronics. If I complete his work, I could regain access to that area. Oh. Hmm. Well, it's under optional, so I don't know if it's actually needed to continue with the main story, but let's absolutely do that. I think I saw that... what was it? Uh, one of these. There it is. Seal hole breach. There's nothing around here. Coming through. Inspecting. Your suit suffered some wear and tear. Thank you. Watch out. Okay, finish sealing it. Looks easy enough. Well, I guess we just gotta get back inside now. Where's the airlock? Probably over here. Right? Or... No, wait, that's the first airlock I came out of. Yeah. Arboretum? I guess back here? Yeah, that's where I came from. Access exotic material storage. Um, I should probably assign this thing to a shortcut. Um, let's... What do I have right now? Branch, glue cannon... Yeah, I almost never used the pistol. I could just replace it. Hello, Dr. You. No, I'll keep the pistol there. I'll put the laser gun on number five, which is just to select my combat focus ability, which is my only ability, so there's no reason to select it. Can't wait to try this thing out. Ah, right. I think it's over here. This place that I went down before and then reached a dead end. Past the armory, I think? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, what about the guy there? Isn't it gonna kill him? Uh, <laughs> is this trying to shoot at him? People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. Do you know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. For all their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. S sorry, Aaron. Also, damn, Aaron, you're stupid. Like, literally just standing there while that thing comes in and shoots at him. Didn't react at all. Awkward. Yeah, that was a place I couldn't go. 
that's to get into guts, it looks like. But this is what I've opened up. Oh, I'm really hurt. No more food. Use a med pack? Nah, I'll be fine. Oh, oh, right. This is the place with all the moving things. Which, now that I think about it, is probably because there was a breach. There's no mimic in here. So how much exotic material does it leave me with? Twelve. Oh, I can make so many neuro mods. I think it was three per neuro mod. I think another area I can go to that I couldn't go to before is over here. Live exam morgue. I don't know if I did anything in particular to open this up, but I definitely haven't been here. And I think it was locked before. something when they died. Access to the guts is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon, but this proved impossible. Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't even seem to see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us, of course. I'm not a person. Not like you. Live exam procedure in progress. Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. Subject seems pretty dead to me. What the heck is that? 
Decrease the amount of time needed to complete a scan. Oh, okay. I really do wish the flashlight wasn't so harsh. It's like, can't see much at all, turn it on, and it's like, okay sometimes, but then if you put the flashlight on something that's even partially lit like the paper, it just blows it out and just hurts the eyes. Inspecting. Your suit meets regulation. Lab procedure Phantom Genesis. Please ensure there's a cadaver in the enclosure and activate psychoscopes prior to opening containment chamber. Well, there is a cadaver in there. Uh, excuse me. Just push me out of the way. It's probably supposed to be a phantom cadaver, right? Activate psychoscopes before initiating experimental procedures. I mean, yeah, this isn't going to do anything, right? With just that corpse in there? Uh, deploy null wave? Open containment shield? Oh. Oh. I'm out. See ya. <laughs> Warning. Examination theater compromised. Warning. Examination theater compromised. Okay. Alright, hold on. It is coming. This is a fantastic time to use a recycler charge. No, 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 come closer. Are you coming? Did I hear that? Wait, what? Where did it go? Whew. I'm close to dead. Yeah, wait, what? The recycler's still there. I don't understand. Why didn't it go off? It was electric. Maybe... Uh, it must have been special in some way. I mean, it definitely was special. But it must have been special in a way that it didn't activate the recycler, perhaps? Should have scanned it first. Could see its weaknesses and stuff. Hmm. Uh, I probably can't use the weapon upgrade kit on this thing. At least without the special, like, lab skill that allows me to upgrade the goo gun as well. Let's see. Well, I can do the first level, but yeah, I can't do the other ones. I haven't used this thing yet, but I'm assuming it's good, so I'm gonna upgrade it. More kilowatts? Or for longer between reloads. Sounds good. Operator approach. <laughs> it even said activate psychoscope before doing the experiment, but I just like freaked out and ran away. <sighs> Alright, well, it worked out. I can open it again. Actually, did it work out? Did I complete the experiment? 
I don't know if I did. I might have to move a bo another body in there. Oh, no. No, no. It's... Lockdown's lifted. We're good. Whoa, no. Don't get on that. Have I been down there? No, the morgue. I definitely haven't. Hmm. Well, I guess I should go there before going here. The guts is the gravity utility tunnel system, right? Yeah, so that's where I'm supposed to go. Let's go to the morgue first. just happened the canister that was in the corner exploded but why ah. you little bastard anti-rad fabrication plan nice I haven't had to use the anti-rad pills yet but might have to at some point. I'm indisposed, Damien. Kelstrup wants to discuss some urgent matter. The science operator lets itself in the morgue by the half hour on the dot every day. Shadow it and slip in. Oh, that's a reply to the request. Didn't, um, Damien say that they lost their key to the morgue inside of the morgue? So the science operator lets itself in the morgue by the half hour on the dot every day, shadow it, and slip in. Okay. But aren't I in the morgue? Huh. Remember how funny I found Alvin Broyles' uh, movies up until I had that second Commodotronics Neuromod installed? Now they can't even elicit a chuckle. I'm not imagining this, am I? I did enjoy them, right? Haley isn't happy about it. Ever since, she's scrutinized my every move. How much hot sauce I use. Where I put my shoes before bed. Shit, even my handwriting. You'd say you're still the same person you were before your mods went in. Wouldn't you? Coming through. I bet you there could be secrets up there. Gotta look up on the shelves. Maybe someone squirreled away some treats on top of one of the lights. I hear it, but I think it's inside that room. <laughs> well, that one was easy to find. See, this is so much better without that. That basically that cheat that you can put in your psycho whatever scanner. It's so much more fun. Operator approach. <laughs> oh, that's the morgue. So I've yeah I've kind of gotten towards the morgue, but this is the actual morgue. So that is what I need the science operator for. Gotta shadow it. I wonder what those machines are for. K-1 
pages. I guess it's for holding the mimics. Okay. I heard it. Unless I was hearing that one that fell down from the rafters. <laughs> Did I get it? I guess so. Yeah, I guess it was just the one on the table. I wasn't quite dead. That's odd looking. Xenogenic brain damage. Operator approach. No, turn, turn that light off. Oh, it turns the light on when you put it down. I want to read that text. Brain damage caused by phantom activity. Contamination starts with the spinal cord. Absorbs the brain by homogenizing all the tissue, which causes nervous system paralysis, something, probably paralysis, and body atrophy. Absorbs the brain. Body atrophy. So that must be what happens when the mimics kind of suck you dry and leave the, the bodies as they are. So, do I need to dispense one of those drones to come down here? Was it a medical drone or an engineering one? Did it specify? Science operator. Yeah, that wasn't a science operator, that was an engineering operator. Where's the science bot? I don't... Engineer again? I don't think there's a dispenser down here. So I guess it's gotta come from up above. From where up above, though? Was there one all the way back here? I mean, I think there was one back here. Isn't that one? Yeah, that's a science operator, but I mean, can I get it to come with me? Hold on, talk to me. Can I dispense more? Where did I dispense it from? I think it came from in here. Yeah, let me dispense all of them. There's a recycler in here too, let's do that. A lot of stuff to recycle. Make a bunch of neuro mods too.
And shotgun ammo. Yeah, I just manufacture a bunch of stuff. <gasps> what? I was afraid this might happen. Our lead Neuromod engineer, Alden Graves, hit a kill switch in the license for Neuromod plans. Shame. He was a solid engineer. I think he was suspicious of the more exotic components. You'll need to use this workstation to reset the license. His office is in the Neuromod division. <laughs> Copy protection future DRM. That's kind of funny. And also kind of a clever way to make sure I guess you don't get too many Neuromods too quickly. Okay, I can make the other stuff, right? Yeah, it's just the neural mods. Well, I made a bunch of shotgun ammo. I'm up to, what is that, 60, 65 rounds of shotgun, and I also made, uh, I think, one, maybe two medbacks. Can't remember the exact amount. How many neural mods do I have? It's just one. Yeah, just one. Don't think there's anything I'd want to spend that on. Nope. Don't think there's anything I can spend that on. Well, let me go towards Guts and just see if there's a science operator. Because the only... Like, I waited for the engineer operator to go down there, and I went right next to the door and then didn't do anything. Which is what I expected, because it specified a science operator, not an engineering operator. And this is where the engineering operator came from. It only dispenses engineering operators. So I'm thinking maybe there's a science dispenser over this way. Dispense science. used for something. It's glowing, but you can't pick it up, pick it up. Oh, did I just loop back around? I did. this tube? I feel like it's going to fry me or something. Security check scan online. Oh. Oh, that's what happened to the thing when it went through. It got killed. Eradicator auto turrets. Transtar's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy, but they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built-in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you, since you're not an alien. A 
indeed. So was it the turret that killed him, or was it this thing? Don't know. That's to the guts. That's definitely not where to go to get some science operators. So, what is this thing for? Grounding resistor? Uh oh. I shouldn't be here. Ah, oh, thank god I wasn't stuck. Yeah, what the heck is this thing for? I have no idea. It's obviously important, but for what? I can't even imagine. I haven't seen anything broken. Hmm. I'm definitely missing something. Okay, I still don't know what this thing is for. And I still don't know what's up with the science operator. I still can't find one that can get down here. Only the engineering one, and the engineering one doesn't seem to go in here. So, I have a new idea. <laughs> Ragdoll, activate. My new idea is, didn't I hear something about the Huntress Boltcaster being able to... It says it right there in the description. Remotely trigger buttons. Does that mean what I think it means? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that feels good. I love it. <laughs> that is beautiful. I believe Bellamy's body is in here. Operator approach. Yeah, see, it, it would always come up to the door, but it wouldn't actually go inside. There's a keycard. Not that it matters at this point. Ah, Bellamy. Cabin. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating, but Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies. Hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. That's all. Yeah, okay, I've got so many cards for the crew cabins now. Or the crew quarters, rather. I also thought about going back to the Neuromod division, because I believe I've already been there to find Holden Grave's office and try to undo the copy protection, but like, it's really, really far away. I'd have to go all the way back to the Talos 1 lobby, and then I don't even remember where it was from there. But I figure we're probably going to make our way back there at some point, right? I figure I should probably open up more airlocks before I do something like that. I figure the airlocks will be kind of the shortcuts that I unlock. Hopefully. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna shove ourselves into the guts.